Hi there, in today's video we will outline how to upload and configure the 100k blueprint uh, custom theme. So the first step will be to log into WordPress. On the left sidebar under appearance, select themes. Top here, you can select install themes and upload. Now you have to find a file on your computer. So we have it in the uh, resource section for you. What you want to do is um, save it somewhere on your computer, like the desktop, um, so it's easy to find. Click on install now and activate. Next, you'll log into Google, and uh, Google will provide you with your uh, publisher ID, your AdSense publisher ID. Once you've selected that, copy it and paste it here. Save changes. And it'll tell you that the uh, settings have been saved. Then what you want to do is just verify that uh, everything went smoothly by visiting the site and clicking on the uh, link in the top left corner. See in this case it worked out just fine. The ads are on the left and right side. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to um, change the header graphic. Right now, um, this theme by default doesn't have a uh, an image in the header. So I'm going to show you how to uh, how you can add a uh, image in there. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the style sheet and find that. You'll look at looking for appearances on the left here. And then under editor, you'll click that. The style sheet should be down at the bottom here on the right. Select that. Now what we're looking for in here is the word header with the uh, number sign in front of it. So it's further down here. Just went past it here. This is what we're looking for right here. What we're gonna do is add something right here. Right after background, and then this is the uh, color here. What we're gonna do is paste this here, and I'll provide this uh, code here to uh, to anybody uh, that needs it. But uh, once you've pasted this code here and place this image in the correct location, which I'll show you right now. Uh, everything should work just fine and you should have a header, a, a header image show up. But um, what I'm going to do is save this and then I'm going to show you where to put that header image so, so it shows up. So what I've done now is uh, logged into the uh, site via FTP and once I'm in there, uh, I can click on WordPress content themes. You're going to find the theme that you're using. In this case, it's called the AdSense 100K. And this is where we're going to uh, upload the picture that we want to use for the header or the header image. Um, there are There is a specific size. Uh, you, you want to make the header image. It's 815 pixels in width by 130 in height. So I've already created one of those. And what I'm going to do is move it over. So what it is uploaded right here. Um, what you want to do is make sure that the name of this particular image matches that of the one that you 
edited in the uh, style sheet. So I'm going to head back over to the uh, style sheet here in one second and show you guys something that I have to change here. Okay, back here in the uh, style sheet, um, what I have to do is change the uh, the uh, type of image here because I uploaded a uh, PNG file and I saved this as a JPEG. Now you can use either one, but because I uh, uploaded a PNG file, I have to change this. And I'll update that file. So just make sure that the name of the file that you upload matches the name here in the style sheet. And once you've uh, done this, you'll want to uh, test the theme and make sure the uh, image that you added is uh, working properly. So it's the same procedure as before. As you can see in this case here at the top, um, the new image that I, uh, that I made in Photoshop has come up here. And one thing to note that uh, people have, and one thing that's uh, worth noting is, well, we'll head back here to the style sheet again. Uh, this is something that a few people have brought to my attention. Um, I haven't figured out exactly why, but sometimes the full file path has to be added here for the picture to show up. So if you put the, uh, uh, just the name of the image here and uh, the header graphic isn't showing, what you may need to do is put the full path to the image. And in this case, it would be, this would be the full path. Um, I haven't figured out exactly why uh, it works like this. In some cases it does work, in others it doesn't, but this is just something to, uh, to note. Um, and I'm just going to head back over to that page again. And what you'll see here is we have to get rid of the title here that's still showing up. So if we put a new image in, we don't want the uh, site title to show. So I'll show you guys right now how you can get rid of that. Head back into the uh, WordPress admin area here. And we're going to head over to the header file, the header.php file, you can click on that. Once we're in the header.php file, we're going to look for a few specific lines of code here. So let's scroll down a little bit here, and then once you get to um, this section right here where it says div ID header, we want to remove some of these here because basically this is telling the uh, theme to show, in this case here, the uh, title uh, on the main page. In a single post, it's going to show the uh, title of the post. And basically, we don't want these to show. So what we're going to do is actually remove this code. save the file here. And we'll go back again and test the blog. And in this case, again, you can see that the header remains, the new image we put in, but the actual title text is uh, gone. So that's how to remove that. And that pretty much concludes the customization theme. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.